begin by placing the models on the correct location on the challenge mat, using the robot game rulebook as your guide. Look for lines to indicate direction. Now place one dual lock square on each X sticky side down. Next, add another dual lock square on top with the sticky side up. Place the model back, carefully aligning it to the markings on the mat. Press down as low as possible on the model. Some mission models do not need dual lock, just look carefully for markings on the mat. For example, these looped water units have a line to indicate where the loop should be. Load three fuel units. To do so, you will have to hold up the red lever for the first one to prevent them from rolling out. Place the truck over the axle and lift the gray ramp up and lay it on top of the two wheels in the back of the truck. Pull up on the red lever to actuate the model and release the fuel units. Place your decorated white panel on the model. Place one energy unit and slide in. Pull the red lever out and watch the hand rise up. Place a hybrid unit on the lever arm. Place the hybrid car such that the back tires are past the ramp. Lift the axle up. Place three energy units in the turbine's ramp. Each time you press the red lever, one will fall out. Test what happens if you don't wait for the lever to go back out each time. Place an energy unit under the TV screen. Push the red sofa to activate. Is there a difference between pushing hard versus slow? Insert a rechargeable battery or an energy unit into the back of the dinosaur and watch the head rise. Load three energy units into the power plant. Press the red lever to release them. Only one falls out. What happens when you raise the red lift arm? Load an energy unit at the bottom of the hydroelectric dam and load one water unit at the top. Lift the axle up to make the water roll down and eject the energy unit. Load the mini dinosaur toy under the black arm at the center of the model. Insert an energy unit into the funnel on top to release the toy. Hope you have a super season.